My name is Connor Puckett. I'm the operations manager at Biochem Fluidics, um, one of the subsidiaries of, of Halma PLC. So who is Biochem Fluidics? What do we do? Uh, just to give you a bit of background on us, we are a uh, micro precision pump and valve um, solutions provider for a variety of different end customers in the um, in vitro diagnostics, analytical chemistry, water quality markets. Um, and and we, we create these OEM components that go into larger subsystems across these industries. So I, I came in in the fall, uh, late fall of 2019 in, in the role of a continuous improvement engineer and, and was seeing these problems and, and kind of siloed pieces of information around the business and said, you know, uh, we really need a platform, a solution here that allows us to, to um, remove this uh, veneer of, of tribal knowledge and, and siloed information across our different production cells. We need to have a, a more appropriate way to capture information related to our operators and, and the procedures that they were actually acting on out on the floor. Because in my role as a CI engineer at the time, I, I needed to understand what I should be focusing my time on to drive improvement back to the business and really drive um, those step changes out on our production floor to, to drive further improvements for the business as a whole. And so I wanted to find a, a solution and a platform that kind of focused on the human factors associated with our production environment um, that wasn't really technologically, um, you know, too, too difficult for our, our operators to engage with, but still had the amount of usability that we needed on the back end from a managerial perspective. And then we also needed to make sure that the data that was being captured was clean and accurate uh, and able to inform real decisions out on the floor. So how do we use Augmenteer, right? I mean, as a platform, it has a ton of um, options and, and uh, capabilities that Russ highlighted. Um, and even more that, that you know, we just simply don't have time to discuss for sure. But the three main areas where we use Augmenteer here at Biochem Fluidics are in the, the work instruction, training, display, version control process of our documents. Um, the second uh, area of, of use is really in our continuous improvement opportunity, uh, identification, justification, figuring out where we're going to focus our, our limited um, you know, capacity and, and uh, ability to address these issues. And then the third one, which is the one I'll be speaking about more specifically in this session, is around performance management and how, as a, an operations leader in the business, I'm able to make larger decisions um, and, and my leadership team is able to make kind of larger business decisions based off the information we, we get out of Augmenteer as well. And so as a whole, between Biochem, Augmenteer, and this kind of overall drive to be lean, having these human-centered OEE metrics allow us to really minimize the waste and drive greater value to our customers. And our customers in this case are both those, um, you know, end, end users of our product who go on to make larger medical device systems because they can be sure that they're getting it for the most appropriate cost with high quality in the amount of time they expect, if not sooner. But it also helps our internal customers and internal stakeholders, like our production manager, our assembly supervisor, and each of the individual operators as well, know that they, they are in control of their future in the business and of their own development. And some of the examples, again, specifically here is we're able to upskill loss leaders. So using these, these OEE metrics that we're able to get out of the augment tier system, we can kind of understand, all right, who in our production environment is actually costing the business money if they're working in a particular cell and, and intelligently schedule our people around where they are best primed to perform. We can also identify and correct our faulty processes. So where we've had, you know, as the business has scaled, our processes have scaled sometimes really well, sometimes really poorly. Let's identify and correct those processes so that we're setting ourselves up for success rather than penalizing ourselves when we don't succeed. And then obviously, like I mentioned, the cost savings and quality gains from continuous improvement projects being driven by this information. So as, as Russ mentioned, the platform does suggest, hey, take a look at these procedures. It looks like you've got a huge amount of variability or, hey, this person 
is really not performing at this procedure to the level you'd expect, maybe you should take a look and, and go investigate with them as well. And so it gives us the ability to start to understand like, hey, we had no idea this was a, a, an issue procedure. And without that kind of background of machine learning and artificial intelligence saying, hey, you might want to go take a look at this, it, we would have never known to actually you know, turn our focus to this area and, and find stuff that, oh, wow, if we don't address this now, if we tried to scale 10x in the, in the near term, there's no way we'd be able to sustain this growth, right? So the procedural level recommendations, the operator training recommendations really help to understand what we need to focus on so that in, in a world like today where we just have such a, such a low amount of capacity, such little capacity uh, and capital to address all of the problems we know exist in our environment, we're able to do this much more specifically and in a targeted fashion that allows us to drive the most gain back to the business that we can in the amount of time we in the amount of time and with the amount of resource that we actually have at any given point in time. And so again, if we reflect back to, to pre-augmenteer time here at Biochem, there's really no way that we would have any insight into this, this macro view of the organization of our assembly environment without an extended amount of time and effort uh, being dedicated towards making those time studies and, and it's simply not something that our business is set up to do.